Hey everyone, Epic. Hey everyone, Mango Seven Roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic Seven. We're just gonna talk about the event this time around. Honestly, there is so much going on. This is pretty much my favorite event so far. Just the way they set it up, the way they did the farming. They um got rid of all the useless stages and just made a more engaging story experience. It's literally a um, choose your own adventure style waifu simulator, which is um, honestly exactly what I want. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I want. But then there's also the grinding at the end with all the rewards too. Um, that said, this is a very confusing setup. A lot of people seem confused, but I just want to let you know there is no real reason to um, try to guide this event out you know like there just isn't a reason the event is meant to be a, a solo sort of fun style experience um that said it, it seems like the higher difficulty stage you farm at the end the the better currency you get um if you want to get more xp for your stamina you want to do the lower stages but in general if you just want to get uh as much of the currency as you can in a pretty quick way i would just recommend going the hardest difficulty there's also, the music is amazing by the way, this whole whole story just um, fills, fills my heart with hope because this is the type of thing I like to see. Um, they're not just recycling events, uh, they're not just redoing story, they're putting so much effort into any, everything here. And with more stages unlocked in the next couple weeks, I have to imagine the character we're getting next week has something to do with the story. Um, I'm not saying it's Lydica, I'm not saying it's Lydica, I'm just saying... I feel like whatever comes in the next event, we will get a character for it. Kind of like we did with K-Ron with the second half of the event. Um, yeah, so this is very exciting to me. Really, really, really just love the styling. Love everything about this. Um, just a really, really, really cool thing. Like, even the art here is fantastic. Jenna's got some new assets. Um, they're making me fall in love with... Um, is it time for magic? Bologna more than I could possibly imagine. Because she is slowly or quickly, depending on how you look at it, taking away from Araminthus' throne as my waifu, which is pretty hard to do. So this makes me just want to see more of all the characters. And even Jenna. It wants me to see more of Jenna. It wants me to see more of Akate or Akates or Akates, however you say her name. The promotional video was freaking adorable. Um, and I have high hopes. The, the amount of effort they're putting into these is just through... Through the roof. Like, I've, I've never seen this in a gacha game. This is like a full-on RPG-style story with characters and, and effort and everything like that. So that's awesome. Also, uh, you can choose your options, whatever you want. Have fun with it. You can go back and switch it after. It costs zero stamina, so don't worry about a guide. Don't try to guide this event out. Just play through it, read the story, and if you don't care about story, just hit skip and farm the last stage. As for what you should clear out on the shop, um, as always, I would always buy the limited... Love potions. Um, that said, there is a very, 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 very big debate right now uh, whether or not you want to upgrade the potion. I'm currently in the shop that does not upgrade just because I would rather upgrade something else. And this event drops Epic Catalyst, which we'll see in a second. So I don't really mind spending a little extra time in this event. Um, so you absolutely need to buy those. You need to buy the student IDs. You need to buy the circuits. You need to buy the flashes. You need to buy the seed. You need to buy the phantasma. You need to buy the penguins, you need to buy the bookmarks, um, and you need to buy the artifact charms here. So every single thing needs to be purchased, and the exact same thing here. The only thing we're skipping are the runes, and that's only skipping the runes too. Um, yeah, so nothing else. Everything else you're getting. So many bookmarks, so many Molagora seeds. Really, really, really happy about this. And I am just currently farming the Banquet Hall. Um, with two to one fodder. So I'm leveling up my Luna right now. I guess we'll show you my Luna as well. I guess you, you may want to see that. She's going to be my next six star because Dragon Waifu, why would you not? But I'm just doing it like this. One healer, two DPS. Uh, I could probably do it with a little more fodder, but this is just easier for me. So yeah, um, there's so much going on right now. I just wanted to say that. Just relax about this event. Take it slow. Um, enjoy yourself. Enjoy the story. Uh, sit back with a bottle of wine, dating your new simulator waifu thingy, and uh, yeah, have fun with it. So, just to show you my current setup for my Luna, she is sitting like this. I am on a Unity set, I'm on a crit set, and I'm on a broken set right now. 
Um, she is abysmally slow. And yeah, that's about all I could get with her. So this is the set I'm using just because it was some leftover gear. I took apart a couple people, but overall I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, she just needs to be a little, little faster. And she also gains a ton of crit rate, 30% crit chance, which is insane. And then like plus the 15 for elemental advantage and everything. She only really needs like 55 crit rate after everything. So I'm super fine with this setup here. I'm also just putting the love potion on her. You only need one. It does not stack as well from what I understand. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Uh, and I'm just going to keep it as level one here. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure what else to say here. Uh, I have a lot of plans for the future of Epic 7. I'm having more than I, I can imagine in terms of fun. Um, I have so many videos I want to plan and so few resources and so few time to really get those videos out there. So I'm trying to decide. So um, let me know in the comments below. My, my pinned comment is going to be what type of video do you want to see next? And I'm going to try to work on that. So we're going to um, either be Tamarin. It's either going to be Luna, which honestly, I, I think we know much about Luna, which is why I haven't done like a how to build Luna yet. Um, same with uh, b -b 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 ML Clarissa. ML Pergus is another person I want to work on. And I'm going to put a who to six star next in um, the description below here. And hopefully you guys can help me decide who to six star next. Usually I do the poll on stream, but I'm going to give it up to you guys to help me decide. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I know there wasn't much information here. I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, so many people are asking me like what the strategy for this event is. I just want you guys to enjoy it. Um, they really care about the story. And uh, in the community discord... Um, GM Dominial says, by the way, I'm curious to hear what people think of the story focused side story. What do you all think and what are your viewers saying? So if you'd like me to give my feedback to GM Dominial, please let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, so far, everything's been very, very positive. There's people who don't like story that just hit skip, but outside of that, um, I think we're enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.